بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الخلق وعز المرسلين سيما خاتمهم وأفضلهم وأحسنهم حضرة محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم ونصلي ونسلم على جميع الأنبياء والمرسلين لا سيما أهل بيت رسول الله سلام الله عليهم أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Today is the 29th of the holy month of Ramadan 1443 or 2022 and we are still discussing akhlaq how to change the holy prophet has said بُعِثْتُ لِأُتَمِّمَ مَكَارِمُ الْأَخْلَاقِ the center piece of his message, the core of his message, was what? To change human behavior from very ugly behavior to perfect morals, to teach them excellence, to become superior and excellent in their behavior, so that they become civilized human beings you know civilization is not the amount of technology you own and you've got nice buildings and nice cars and electric cars and no 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 we even have that but we still behave like animals we still subdue we are still greedy so it's not technology and and you know buildings that is making us superior or excellent moral wise it is what akhlaq it's ethics it's morals this is important we were still discussing the matter of greed and contentment let us look at you know the gems of ahl al-bayt salamullah alayhim ajma'in imam al-baqir salamullah alayhi says in al-wafi volume 3 where he says, the example of a person engulfed in greed is like that of the silkworm. The silkworm. The more it spins the silk around itself, the more it becomes difficult to come out of the, con out of the cocoon and ultimately resulting in his own death. Imam Bakir, this is what greed does. Greed destroys. There's destruction with greed. We will, and we know how many examples we have in history. Yeah, you know, Quran beautifully says, Fa'tabiru. Take lesson, i'tibar. You know, take lesson. Ya ulil albab, ya ulil absar. Those of you who can see, those of you who have vision. Take lessons from those who came before you. If, you do, if we don't learn from the mistakes of others or even from our own mistakes, what's the purpose? Then the cycle of suffering and pain and destruction and war will just continue over and over and over and over again. As we have the saying, you know, the beautiful saying, even in English, history repeats itself because we keep on doing and making the same mistakes. We don't learn from our mistakes. May we learn in this holy month of Ramadan. As Quran says, Fatabiru, take lessons, Atibar, you know, take lessons. Ya ulil albab, those, uh, you know, take lessons. So let us learn in this holy month of Ramadan. Another hadith of Imam Jafar al-Sadiq which is also in Al-Wafi volume 3 where Imam Jafar al-Sadiq says that Allah observes in a Hadith Qudsi where Allah is saying in, had in Hadith Qudsi if two valleys are allotted to men if two valleys were given to men where rivers of gold and silver are flowing they will crave for yet Another valley like that, in even more valleys. Why? The one who's greedy never gets satisfied. 
never is contented, he wants more and more and more and more. And that ultimately is destruction. Don't we see even in nature which animal is, ob is obese? No animal except insan. Do you know? There is beautiful discipline in nature. Quran says in Surah Ar-Rahman, uh, where Allah says, um, "Hal tara fi khalqi Rahman min tafahud? Do you see anything out of place? Anything out of place or ugly that's supposed not to be there in khalqi Rahman in the creation of the Rahman? There isn't. Then Allah's fa then uh, then Allah's farja al basa. Then look again. Hal tara min futur? Do you again see any discrepancy in nature? In the khalq, in the creation? The only one that don't fit this model yet is Al-Insan. Inshallah. May we learn the teachings of mastery, Inshallah. So that we become of what? Of the workers of Mahdawiyyah. Ajla Ta'ala Farajahu Sharif. And with this we wish you a splendid day. A day full of barakah. A day of kana, a day of contentment. A day where we learn, start looking at ourselves and looking at others. Be quiet, but learn from others, from our own mistakes and from others' mistakes. And change the cycle. Break the cycle and become better inshallah because the only one whom we have to compete with is who the one in the mirror no one else and have the holy prophet and ahl al-bayt and anbiya salamu alaihim ajmain have them as our models our role models our heroes our warriors the ones we look up to these are the masters wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh